Hey everyone, this is Mad Ayokai, and I'm back once again to discuss some theories regarding the upcoming Friday the 13th game scheduled to release early 2017. I know it's been a while since I talked about the game, but I needed some time to digest the beta, go through my footage, and get a better idea of what to expect when the game goes live this spring. In today's video, we're going to talk about the boat escape. Not a lot of information has been presented on how the boat escape will work, but I think I can paint a decent picture based off of some observations from the beta, gameplay teasers released by Gun Media, and assets inside the virtual cabin. So, let's hop to it. So far we know that there is a boat escape and that it is one of the ways to escape Camp Crystal Lake, similar to the car or calling the police. Evidence of this can be seen in the PAX West X Triple music video. In the opening shot, we have the bookish girl sitting in the rear of a motorboat when suddenly Jason jumps out of the water and pulls her down like something out of Jaws. So counselors can escape via boat. What's also worth noting is that in this clip, the boat engine reads Speedy Jet. And if you can't see this, please look at the original video on Gun Media's YouTube page. The brand name Speedy Jet is important because it is the exact same boat found inside the item room of the virtual cabin. So it's safe to say this is a good model for us to use in our theory. Now if we look at the boat inside the virtual cabin, we can see that there are three seats. So most likely this is going to be a three-person vehicle with one person steering from the back and two additional counselors inside the boat. How to start the boat. I'm sure you're all wondering how do we get this water puppy fired up, and I think it's going to take three things. One, gasoline or some kind of fuel. Two, a battery. And three, a propeller or some kind of key to start it. Or some kind of mystery item, I'm not sure. I have confidence that gasoline and a battery will be a part of the repair mission, because if you look at other games using boats, such as Telltale Games' The Walking Dead, in Season 1, Clementine and Lee ha eventually had to repair a boat that they found in an abandoned garage. The group discusses that all it needs is fuel and a battery. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taken So that's where I'm getting the idea that we need well, gas and a battery for this boat in Friday the 13th, the game. I think three items is a likely number, because that's what it took to repair the car to get it started. In the beta, we needed gasoline, a battery, and keys to start it up and escape Camp Crystal Lake. For the third item needed to make the boat work, I don't know if we need a key, or maybe a propeller, or some kind of switch we have to install, but it could be possible that maybe the gas and the battery from the car could also be used with the boat. So you can choose which you want to repair first in the game. I, I think that would be a nice uh, option for counselors. This crossover between vehicles brings me over to my next theory. Any map that Hold uses that. the boat escape is going Time to have at to least one car, and that car will likely be the two-seater. In Friday the 13th the beta, it was likely designed for there to be fewer spots in vehicles than there are counselors in order to add tension, drama, and competition within the game. So if the boat is a three-seater, then we'll likely have a two-person car escape option in addition to calling the police. You know, if it were a four-seater, then everyone could escape and there would be no need to fight over vehicles. But come on, folks, this is Friday the 13th here. Oh, shit, Someone started. always has to get left behind and die, or fight Jason and live. Really? Alright, so you might be wondering, how do we use this boat in the game? So if you're playing as a counselor, I've got a few things for you. One, Jason can likely stop the boat like he did with the car by smashing the engine. Two, he can grab counselors for instant kills as we saw in the XLI video from PAX West. 3. You might be able to outrun certain Jasons. If you played the beta, you probably noticed that each Jason had strengths and weaknesses that added variety to the game. For example, Part 7 Jason was a much faster swimmer than Parts 2 and 3. So much that Sackhead Jason, aka Part 2 Jason, and Jason in Part 3 were considered to be weak at swimming according to their stats. If we take this into consideration, most likely you can use the boat to outrun certain Jasons. 4. In the event that Jason grabs the driver of the boat in the back, the boat may stop or you could lose control, so be prepared to switch spots if your driver suddenly goes missing. 5. Similar to the car, you might even be able to run councils over, like we saw in a recent teaser from Gun Media, so be sure you're good at controlling the boat when you pick up swimming counselors, unless you want to be responsible for the deaths of your fellow teammates. Alright, now if you're a Jason player, just some things you might want to be aware of. Most likely you can stop the boat just like you did with the car by smashing the front or where the engine is located. But I doubt you yourself can board the boat, because you weren't able to get in the car and drive away with it in the beta. Next, if you want to stop the counselors from escaping via boat, 
you might want to teleport in front of the boat if you're a slow Jason. So use your teleportability for that. Or maybe you can outrun the boat if you're Jason Part 7 or if you're a strong swimmer and grab the counselor who's steering the boat in the back. Depending on your playstyle and mood, you may have a favorite Jason, but keep in mind that you might lose to the boat once the engine starts. So pay attention to the map selection and what to expect when you choose your Jason. Alright, that's all for today's video, folks. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, and share it with your friends. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think there will be more than one boat, just like there were cars in the game? Did I miss anything with this theory? Do you have anything to add to it? You know, let me know in the comments below and let's chat. I do want to get involved more in the Friday the 13th The Game community, so you will be seeing more videos from me focusing on Friday the 13th The Game and the beta gameplay in these coming months. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.